Hello! So, as you may know, if you were watching last week's video, I am on a trip this week. Um, I am out on the East Coast visiting family, and the weather has been beautiful this week. Um, and it's kind of crazy because I think maybe I mentioned it last week, but um, you know, I was finishing up painting on the front of the house and trying to get in what I could before I left. Um, I left Thursday evening and Thursday was a coolish day. It wasn't terribly cold, but from Friday on, there has been a couple of days where maybe I could have worked, but the temperatures have really turned at home. So, um, and that's kind of what I was expecting. Um, and so, um, yeah, I think the painting project is, is done for the winter. Um, but I'm happy with how far I got and, um, it's just really cool to see the transformation of just that piece of it. Um, ideally, my goal would have been to get it all painted, but honestly, the amount of time that I had to do it um, alongside of working, um, it makes sense that I didn't get there, So, which I'm okay with. Um, so I thought since I'm away this week, I don't have any videos to share with you of work that's going on because there is no work going on this week, but I thought I would just take a few minutes and kind of share with you what I'm hoping to do in this next season um, or next weeks. Um, you know, a lot of construction workers would work through the winter, even in Minnesota with it being so cold, um, but I'm not a construction worker um, and I'm not sure, you know, if we have a really cold winter like last year, I'm not sure that I can tough it out through the coldest months, but my hope is that I can still work November and December at least on some different things and get those um, continue getting some things done kind of clean up and wrapping up some things so um, yeah so some of the things on my to-do list still uh, this fall winter um, hopefully will be I think I had mentioned a few weeks back if you've been watching um, that I have one in one room my kitchen my future kitchen under one window there was asbestos insulation it's just asbestos um and so that is a project that i need to work on um and again i was kind of waiting till it was cold anyway because i figured it doesn't need to be done now and you have to wear a re respirator and a suit and all of that so i was like well that's probably nicer to do when it's cool out not hot so um so that's on my to-do list um the other thing is is i still have some rooms with boards on the walls to get off to get to the studs um, so that's that's something else and that's something doable if it's cold um, my plan is to put either an electric space heater or a propane space heater um, in the room that I'm working on um, so I'm hoping that's enough to take the chill off that I can work without it being too uncomfortable um, you know as far as my whole body isn't really an issue. You know, you can wear enough clothes, but your hands, um, and especially needing the dexterity of doing certain things. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but that's my goal. Um, so the asbestos, the boards, um, let's see, what else was there? Oh, and then just like general cleanup. You know, there's insulation, sawdust, all that kind of stuff that needs to be cleaned up. Um, I still have a board to put on that wall that my brother and I repaired back in September, maybe it was. Um, so that we, we put, you know, we replaced the wall that was rotten and put back up boards um, on all but one we found one for. So, um, so that's one thing too, to get that so that we're not getting snow in the house. Um, yeah, so those are kind of the major pieces. And then, you know, depending on how long things take, if I can um, probably start to kind of get some ideas of what it's going to be like getting the electrical in um, and figure out how much, you know, how much wire I need and start doing research. Obviously that can be done in the winter months, R really starting to watch some tutorials and reading you know, manuals and things like that to really kind of wrap my head around what that's going to look like. Um, so that's a piece that I can work on now as it's cold, but as it the winter progresses too. Um, 
so yeah, those are some things in mind. Um, but yeah, the immediate things that kind of clean up the asbestos and the final boards that are on the walls, getting that taken care of. Um, and probably, well, the other thing is, will be to get the scaffolding down that's up and get that put away for the winter. So um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, this has been a fun week. Um, I've been planning for a while to come visit family and um, yeah, just beautiful weather. We've had weather some a couple of days in the 60s, one day in the 50s, I think, and then the 70s and one day even hit 80, which that was a little warm. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that warm, but um, yeah, just beautiful days to get out and do some things and just spend time with family. So um, it's been a nice change of pace after um, the push that I've been putting on at the house the last month or so, two months. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Thanks for watching and um, if you have questions about the project or thoughts, please let me know and um, I'll try to answer them. All right, bye-bye. So this collection was called Saved from the Sea and there's just all these different 
pieces of trash that were pulled from the sea. And as I was observing it, I thought, wow, maybe someone would have wanted all that junk from my trash piles and they could have made an exhibit of art out of it. Um, and I could have made some money off of it instead of paying to get rid of it. But now it's too late. So I just got home from my time away and it is very cold <laughs> at home. Uh, it's in the 20s and I didn't realize that it had actually snowed um, and is kind of icy. So it's going to be a longer drive home than I was expecting, but I'm glad to be home and yeah, it was a good trip. So um, yeah, now I got to find my ice scraper and get my car cleaned off and get on the road.